a gentleman was supposed to come and measure for us. He was supposed to do it yesterday. He brought the tape, but he didn't have time. So, and he was supposed to come this afternoon, and Kathy said she hasn't seen him yet. Perfect. And so, what is the? Can I get a copy of his state certification as a as a licensed and registered engineer, certified through the Commonwealth of Massachusetts? I'm not sure if he has that, but I will ask. Hold on. What, uh, <laughs> what, what, what does he do? Does he work for the town? No, he doesn't work for the town. <laughs> but a person that doesn't even work for the town that has probably no license or credentials is just going to show up with a tape measure and see how it looks. Is that, let me ask you another question. Is that the same gentleman that was passing out stickers asking for him to be voted for conservation? Not conservation, Board of Health. Board of Health. Yes. Yeah, so it's the same guy that was I believe so, yes. That was, that was also soliciting votes at the door when I walked in. Was he still sitting votes at the door? Well, it's on the video. Did he did he get voted? And he stole that election. Do you think it should be reversed as a as a taxpayer? Yeah, I definitely think we should maybe even rehold the election if the sign was moved. Oh jeez. But when I'm saying I'm running for council for select board because these problems exist, and then all of a sudden you got a guy removing, what was it called? There's always a red poll marker sign. It's like, a, it looks like a campaign sign, just two little things so, to stick in the ground. So where it was is not there anymore, and then he set up shop where he wanted. Yeah, that's concerning, because I know for a fact she puts them out. And I can tell you, is in, and it can't be said that it's something that was removed afterwards, because I show you a live video first thing in the morning at 10 a.m. from that day. Yeah. 50 yards would have been right here, okay? So I'm going to walk 50 yards. Now I'm going to be right in the middle of the street, which is not a safe place to go. So are we saying, Jess, that if this is the poll marker, like we've said before, and it goes to the curtilage, that anything this side of me would not fall in that footage and would violate those those laws? And then the guy that was running against me is way He's up there. there. So, that. The, so, yeah. so in from from what you're looking at now, yeah. it doesn't look good, does it? perspective there were, there were a lot of people that had reached out to me and said things need to be the way that they were and and I had an issue that happened to my kid and I decided that I wanted to help and see if I could put things back Absolutely. sit in my position for three years allow some more people to see that it's possible and not be scared about running because that was the big thing mm -hmm. people were scared about going up against the machine and totally. the fall back and that, yeah. you know the retaliation for going against the machine mm -hmm. and but then people will see that it's okay to do it People don't like change. People don't like change, but change is hard. When you when you cheat and you steal. Yeah. That's the whole you're not helping yourself. That's pretty serious. You're proving the whole reason why I ran. What's up guys? And this video is the biggest banger I've ever put out. I live in Townsend, Massachusetts, and I was running for select board. A lot of people reached out to me and said the current select board was corrupt and it needed change, and they asked me to do it. So I did. And as I'm sure some of you have heard, I lost by about 250 votes. Not bad for a guy that's only lived in town six months, did no campaigning, and filed at the deadline. But turns out I didn't lose. When I showed up on election day to vote, I saw the incumbent sitting with another selectman with a big table and tent soliciting votes. Problem is, Massachusetts state law states that you must be at least 50 yards away from the polling. In fact, the town clerk puts up poll markers, so you know that you have to be beyond those markers to do any sort of campaigning during the election. Turns out, and as you can see from my video and the town clerk's admission, the incumbent who was running against me decided to remove the poll markers, break the law, and set up shop wherever he wanted to try and steal the election any way he could. And I knew that he wasn't past 50 yards that day, so I took a quick little video of him and his cohorts so I could use it later to show just how bad he wanted it and exactly how he would deceive the people to steal it. Oh, sir, you're very unprofessional. Huh? You're very unprofessional. If you want to stick your camera up your ass. So I'm unprofessional, but you have one selectman back in another selectman. Now, is it within the footage? Have you, have you checked to make sure that legally you're not too close to the town hall with a person running for office while elections are taking place. 
because he wanted to tell me I wasn't professional. He wanted to cuss me out too, right? But it's okay for him to do it, not for me to do it. It's like you're free to say what you want to say, man. He's free to say what he wants to say. Yeah. Are you supposed to be this close to the building? Uh, we can measure it out. We'll, we'll, we'll measure it out, Joe. You know, you should be really more professional. More professional Your attitude Joe. does not do you well, sir. Hey. Have a good day, gentlemen. Hey, how you, how you doing? doing? His attitude does not do him well. It, the sun is great, but he's not. Hey, you know what? We're gonna have to measure it, and he'll be removed from the ballot. Let's go. Let's do that. I got some money to spend for Chaz today. Have a great day. Enjoy the weather. I think it's real big that Chaz got on the ballot, so Townsend can vote for a woman. Weird. The polling signs weren't there. That's because the polling signs are stationed at the curb, and he would have had to have been on the opposite side of the street. But laws be damned, and the will of the people be damned. He's a corrupt politician, and he needs to stay in office as long as possible. So breaking the law really isn't a big deal to him. And exactly who is it that we're talking about? See the arrow pointing? That's pointing to Chaz Sexton Duranian, the incumbent and guy I'm running against. He's the highest elected body in the town. In fact, he's in charge of implementing and writing new laws. Unless those laws don't work in his favor. Then he's totally willing to break them. Now I ran for select board so the people's voices could be heard. But Chaz Sexton Duranian doesn't want your voice to be heard. In fact, he's willing to break the law just so he can get what he wants. When his job in the select board is literally only to make sure that you get what you want. Now the woman you saw featured in this video at the beginning is the town clerk. Her name is Jessica. And when confronted with this overwhelming evidence, even she agreed that there was a problem and that he actually moved the polling sign so that way he could break the law without interruption. So how does this play out? Well, in Massachusetts, because the 50 yard rule was broken and violated, there wouldn't be a special re-election. The other person on the ballot would automatically get the position. And if there was no other person, it would go to the person who had the most write-ins. However, I was the next person. So you know what that means? He lost. Now the town's going to get their own engineer to measure it out. And once it's confirmed, the election will be reversed. That's not the end for Chaz. Violating election laws is a felony. And he's looking at some serious time. Cheaters never prosper. Hope it was worth it. Now the town clerk's office has assured me that they're going to be reaching out to someone, they're going to be getting back to me, and this change should be imminent. I will say, when there's an allegation of election tampering or impropriety, the certification of that election must be stopped to investigate the impropriety to see if it's substantiated. Well, the town clerk's already substantiated it, so I guess you can call me Selectman Josh Abrams. What do you folks think of Chaz Sexton Duraning violating laws just so he could subvert your will? I don't take too kindly to it, and that's the reason I stopped you today. What's going on, everybody? And it is accountability for all. Now, the building that you're looking at is where the person I'm running against, the incumbent, uh, was soliciting campaign you know, contributions and saying hi to voters. Now, it's very important you see where he was standing. Now, this is where the voting took place, right there. Now I went to go see the town clerk and let her know that although he won by votes, those votes were illegally gained because he did it within 50 yards of the polling station. The town clerk told me that it's 30 yards, 150 feet. And at that point I knew that she had made a grave error and I had to explain to her that 150 feet is 50 yards, not 30. So when she told him to stand there, she sent him to the wrong place. And then the look of horror on her face when I told her that 150 feet is 50 yards, she realized the mistake that was made. Or maybe it wasn't a mistake, maybe it was on purpose, and they were trying to give him an edge. Because as every single person went in to vote, I have on video of him running up to those people and telling them not to, while he was within 50 yards of a polling place. So. We had it measured, and uh, we responded to the town, so we're going to go see if they do what they're supposed to do. Now, the state law says that they have to have a state engineer come in and confirm my measurements. I'm willing to bet you they had some person with a tape measure go out and do it, and they're going to try and sell that to us today. 
I don't think that's going to fly. Hey Jess. Hey dude. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. I want to see if uh, any progress has been made on the measurements. Oh, I'm not sure. Let me go ask Kathy. Okay, perfect. All Thank right, you. All right, you're welcome. So, and I looked into it. I don't know it. everything. I looked into it. Now, it's, in, it's not 50 yards, right? So I had it measured anyways by a state certified engineer. Mm -hmm. And then like the lay person looking at it. And I think what happened was, and like I said, mistakes happen. Because Kathy was, when we were speaking, she was like, no, it's going to be 30 yards, not 50, 150 feet. And then I was like, but 150 feet is not 30 yards, it's 50. And I think there was some confusion. On, and then I think she realized that it was. So I, I, I think that maybe something possible did happen where she said, you just have to be 30 yards away from the building. Please go stand there. Because that is within 30 yards. But 150 feet is 50 yards. And Massachusetts law is very strict. So I just wanted to make sure, feet. especially since I have video of every time someone came up, like, because when we were talking the other day, someone yeah. came up and said, hey, hi, Josh. When people were coming in to vote for me, yep. or to vote for whomever, I have him on video running up to people saying, oh, don't vote for him. He's, you know, he's, he's a terrible person, blah, 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 which is fine. He can do that as long as he's within 50, 50 yards away. 30 ain't going to cut it. And the loss is very specific. It says that um, it would, if, if the person is the incumbent, then it will go to um, the person who is who is second. If there was no second, it would be counted by the write-ins. Okay. So I'm just... Let me ask Kathy. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much, I know she's Jess. busy um, certifying the results today, so we'll see what she says. Yeah, so and also, um, if there is any allegation of impropriety during uh, an election, that actually halts the, the, the certification. Because I have my attorney look at it. It halts the certification... Because at that point, the main thing is, are the allegations factual? Are they truthful? Right. Are they substantial? Can they be substantiated? And right. it says that the administration must provide a state certified engineer to then go measure the footage to confirm or deny. So that actually okay. puts the certification part on hold. Okay. But I mean, she do whatever she wants. I'm just saying this is the information that I've got yeah. um, from an attorney over the past 48 okay. hours. All right. Well, Thank I will ask guys. her. Sounds like she's on the phone, but give me one minute, okay? Perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome. See, and that, that's the interesting thing, right? She's she's going to go back there and spend time to certify the election when the election is... I mean, even the, even the town clerk here uh, states that, no, he was not 50 yards away. You just saw it. He was not 50 yards away. He was 30 yards away, and he was 30 yards away because the town clerk had made a mistake. That's not my fault. It's not my fault he won the election through a cheat and he violated the law. Have I committed a crime? All the people in the call us frauditors would demand that the law be followed. That's why I want to thank the people that watch these frauditor channels for supporting me because they're they're you know, they're always for the law. Even when the law helps me win an election. How close was it? How two two fifty, two hundred fifty votes. Alright, so a gentleman was supposed to come and measure for us. He was supposed to do it yesterday. He brought the tape, but he didn't have time. So, and he was supposed to come this afternoon, and Kathy says she hasn't seen him yet. Perfect. And so, what is the, can I get a copy of his state certification as a, as a licensed and registered engineer certified through the Commonwealth of Massachusetts? I'm not sure if he has that, but I will ask. Hold on. <laughs> what, uh, what, what, is, what does he do? Does he work for the town? No, he doesn't work for the town. <laughs> I love you. You're amazing. And this is not you. Cause it's always I, know, I know. So You're doing a great job. It. I know. Pound it. <laughs> right on, dude. Um, but a person that doesn't even work for the town that has probably no license or credentials is just going to show up with a tape measure and see how it looks. Jess, thank you. <laughs> uh, we love you. Thank you very much. I, I will wait. I <laughs> I don't. I don't, I don't have. I don't have this certification. No, no, that, that's, a, that, that's fine. Is that? Let me ask you another question. Mm -hmm. Is that the same gentleman that was passing out stickers asking for him to be voted for conservation? 
Not conservation board of health. Board of health. Yes. Yeah, so it's the same yeah, guy that was. I believe so. Yes. That was that was also soliciting votes at the door when I walked in. Was he soliciting votes at the door? Well, it's on the video. Did he did he get voted? He he. Um, the gentleman that he was handing out stickers for, yes, did win the the nomination. It's very interesting. So so jo jo Joe Shank, um, the guy who's also a select, but I'm saying this for my audience. Joe Shank uh, yelled out the window to me when he was within 50 yards uh, helping his friend cheat. He yelled out the window, oh, you had to be more professional. So when I parked, I, I said, what? And he got, I had my camera ready. He didn't realize. He gets out of the car and goes, you should be more professional. As he finishes the statement, he sees the camera and he goes, you can stick that up your ass. And I said, I think you're the one that needs to be more professional. And as he does that, a gentleman hands me a little tape that looks like it's inside of a fortune cookie. It says Moran on it. It says, hey, can you go vote for my friend upstairs? And I did. I went and voted. Dr. So, Christian Roman Ramirez, I believe, was his name. Very nice guy. So, But the same guy that's going to measure to see if the incumbent cheated is the same guy that was outside cheating? I know, we just... I get it. Thank you, Jess. I, I, I haven't seen video. I haven't seen anything. So, according to me, it's still speculation. Yeah. The, 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 fur, know, the furthest he about. went was um, about six... Those When you go out the door... That you can go this way, and then there's that row of parking spaces. Yep. The furthest he went, and we have him on video also, because thankfully he was lucky enough to first approach me when I was in the car. We're talking about the recreation building right over yeah. here. Yeah. Oh no 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 no. He was he was. So when you walk out the door here. Yep. And then there's that veterans parking space. Yep. He, the furthest he'd gone, he was about four spaces after that, and that's when he approached me when I was driving away from from Joe Shank. Okay. Uh, so, and he, so he's actually in the video. I said, hold on a second, man. Let me let me go park. Sure. So. He seemed to be running into a, a problem, which is not your fault. But I appreciate your help, and I will wait patiently. Okay. Thank you, Jess. She's still on the phone, so I interrupted That's her. Okay. Yeah, I can show. Come on. Do you want to take a look at this? I can show, yeah, sure. I will love yeah, to Je see this. Je Jess so, it is what it is. This is... They're entitled to now, their Now, there, there was a lady. I think I saw her the other day walking up the stairs. She was right here talking to Joe. Uh, now, Joe turns and says to the woman, oh, and don't you vote for him either. So this is the closest it got, but I'll go with the barrier over here. What? So this little inlet space is where the gentleman was standing. Right here. Um, handing out stickers? Handing out little stickers. <laughs> okay. Now, I was a quarterback. I played football. I was damn good. I'm going to say that. I'm not good with measurements and distance. So that window right up there is what we're talking. A little past. So I'm saying... That's 20 yards. I give that 20 yards. So of... I do know that they don't measure it diagonally. I know that they measure these things from the door, the walking, if there's a walking path or a sidewalk, they measure from the door down and over. As far as I know, that's what they do. Well, so it goes... Does anybody see a walking so, path or a sidewalk? Well, well there, so first of all... No, so it would be... But it, the it's, there's a sidewalk right, that goes right solution. on the street, which actually makes yes. it closer to the door. Other than that, But yes. I was leaving that out because I wanted to give room for error so we could really make our point. However, sure. it's 20 yards, not from the door of Town Hall. It's 20 yards from the door of polling. Right. That door of polling is, is pretty much, it's very similar, but it's still closer yep. to the street. So it, as far as I know, it would be measured from the door down the sidewalk over to the 150-foot the line. Yeah, so, or any place of, of congregation. So this is like arguably closer than what he was was doing um so that's one thing but now we're looking at this building sure with it now that is going to be i think we got it at about 33.7 um and this is from a state certified engineer kind of like whoever this guy is here so asking you now i'm not going to put you on the spot because that wouldn't be cool <laughs> now i this is one of those small towns where politics are very, very important, and if you've been Indeed. here a long time, you get a lot of respect. Indeed. I've been here less than a year now. Yep. When I put my name on the papers, I had been here for about five months, um, and I think I turned them in at the deadline. So I had done no campaigning, and I think I got all my signatures. You, you were did. You were like, oh my you God, did. you got them that quick? I did it like you an did. hour and a half, two we hours. We certified them. <laughs> um, now, fair and square, mm -hmm. if I lost by only... 200 something votes for a new guy in town that ain't bad yep now now if <laughs> there was a mistake made mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and he knew he was going to lose. Mm -hmm. So he set himself up, or maybe it wasn't a mistake, maybe he just was told 30 odds, whatever it is. If his advantage is, I'm going to tell everyone that comes into town hall, laws be damned, and I'm going to tell them not to vote for this guy. If he was not at least 50 yards out, as the law states, and he was polling as an incumbent within that 50 yards, do you think the law is correct saying that, that his election uh, victory should be reversed? So I'm not sure because I don't know that law, because it hasn't been my responsibility to do anything to do with how far away something is. It's always rested on the town clerk herself or himself, depending on who So it more is. fair question, if the law was violated by this man and that and and the violation of that law resulted I'd have to look at the law and see what the law says about well, what, so let's put it this the way. instance of that if case. I am accurate with my interpretation and regurgitation you, you of the law you should have contacted the state too like huh? you should have complained so, to the state so the the onus first goes to the municipality because I can't go to the state if they because their job is to the act and react know. As long as the municipality goes. Okay, I see what you're saying. But if the law was violated, my interpretation of the law is correct, mm -hmm. and he stole that election. Do you think it should be reversed as a as a taxpayer? Yeah, I definitely think we should maybe even rehold the election if there was election. Well, so that's the other thing, uh, and they do this um, to protect all parties. Right. So what they won't do is they they won't do a special repoll in a situation like this because. It, it takes too much time, it takes too much money. If right. the question is, we're not talking about there was a problem with the ballot counter, there was human error. Right. If there was right. negligence for the law, which caused the victory right. in the election, it goes to the next person. If there's no next person, it goes to the most right -in. You know, I was the, the, the next person, sure. so it wouldn't even be a special election. It would it would revert to, to whoever, to the, whoever have, has the next many votes. Had that so that's that's where it goes to. Read, read the law on that. But at, and when it happened, I was driving out. I was like, I'm gonna troll this guy because I said to him, I was like, Oh man, look at you! Yeah, enjoy your day today. It's gonna be a rough one tomorrow because I did zero campaigning. I was supposed to do some campaigning, then I had to go help some people with some police brutality stuff they were dealing with. Oh, and uh, <laughs> and you know, it's for a nobody. I'll take I'll take however many votes I got. Hey, yeah, but, every single one. I think that I think that, that that it's wrong, and I said coming in, and I had because I had no idea what was going to happen because I figured like Kathy might, or some town legal might be like, hey, you need to get a state certified engineer um, that's licensed through the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. But I said to her walking in, I said, I guarantee you that some guy just off the street was going to show up with a tape measure. Thankfully, he didn't get here yet. But thank you for coming out and looking. I just wanted to, to show yeah, you because, I know, because people are voting for who is, they think. This is definitely within. Because the poll, so I've lived here my whole life. Okay. The poll marker has always, from my recollection, been at the end of the driveway here. End of the driveway? Yeah, that's where I feel like always one of the poll markers is supposed to be. So we're at the end of this driveway right here, like this, where this dirt patch And that is. makes sense, and, and Jess, that makes sense yeah. because when you follow the sidewalk here, it goes to the stop sign, it goes to the end of the sidewalk, right? Right. right. So that would indicate very clearly that, um, and, and by the way, you're, you're right on, um, kind of. It's still a little short. Yep. But this bisection, this curve, opposite that curve is where someone could go. Yep. Okay. Now, Joe Shank, do not run. Stay back I'm there. Not I, need cardio. <laughs> I need cardio, Jess. Jazz was standing right here. Okay? Video? This is in the video. I'm going to okay. show it to you. I'm going to stop in a second. So, if Chaz, the incumbent, standing right here, okay. and he has to be 50 yards away, and you've figured out that 50 yards is past that curtilage, it looks like what? Because the pole marker sign has always been in the front of this building over here to the right a little bit. I feel like the pole marker was always on this side over there. Well, so it wouldn't be over there because that is, so... But I'm not 100%. Right, so it wouldn't be over there because that's even closer. That's even closer, right. That's even closer. So, so where would they... he standing? Right here? Right here. He was even over here. Guess what there is right over here? <laughs> Big old sidewalk leading right up to yep. that door. Yep. So here's how it breaks down, right? <laughs> it's, he, he can have his cake, but he cannot eat it too. Right. Okay, so if it's within the closest pathway, if we're not saying the doors to the election room, yep. we're saying doors to town hall. Mm -hmm. How long, how many feet do you think we are from right here to the entrance to the town hall? No idea. 29 feet. 29, 29 yards. Feet. Oh, 29, 29 yards. yards. Okay. 
so. Because here, this, what is this? This is bringing us closer, Jess. It I'm is. walking on it right is. here. <laughs> what am I, so, so, what's, so, uh, the argument is the door, and that's the town's mm -hmm. argument. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it, there's gonna be less wiggle room for him. If it's over there, he's still, he still kind of made an ouchie that cost him an election. But thank you for looking, I just wanted yeah, to show you. Because I think it matters. You shouldn't cheat to win, yeah, even right. if you're, even if you hold right. a government position. I think everyone should go out according to the law. Absolutely. <laughs> You've known me long enough. You've never violated the law. <laughs> I try not to. You've always given me yep. uh, sound advice and helped me with that, whatever yep. issues I've had. And if I don't know what it is, I go find out, like you said. And there was a police officer there, and I said, "Don't you have to be 50 yards?" He said, "Yeah." And I said. He ain't within 50 yards. He goes, that's not my job. So now I'm going to stop for what? a second. I want to show. He was being nice. He was just like, listen, bro, I got to stand here. He wasn't being rude. But, um. She always. So, no, I'm kid I'm not kidding. There's okay, always a sign out here. here and there's always a sign out there. So, and, and, and I saw it. But regardless, the sign was moved. Oh, geez. So, and here, and I think might be a reason why. Because I don't have a problem with, with Kathy. Okay, I think she thinks because of the whole thing that happened before that I have some ax to grind. And I have always been professional with you guys. I think that you can tell that I like and respect you. So I think she's kind of like, oh, this guy's a jerk. I'm not. But when I'm saying I'm running for council, for select board, because these problems exist, and then all of a sudden you got a guy removing, what was it called? There's always a red pole marker sign. It's like, a, it looks like a campaign sign, just two little things so, to stick in the ground. So where it was is not there anymore, and then he set up shop where he wanted. Yeah, that's concerning, because I know for a fact she puts them out. And I can tell you, is in, and it can't be said that it's something that was removed afterwards, because I show you a live video first thing in the morning at 10 a.m. from that day. So obviously I wasn't here that morning because I was on the ballot for something else. I helped set up the I know, election. I voted for you. But th thank you. <laughs> But then I left because I didn't want there to be any type of ethical violation that anyone right. would think that I'm tampering with the electoral. Uh -huh. Just flat out. So there's like a checklist of stuff that we do right. prior to opening each election every single day. This is what we've done for the last, well, Kathy, since the dawn of time since she's worked here. And those poll marker signs are always put out there at the same exact spot every time. Now I wonder where the spot is. So they have to be in front of that marker. They have to be on the other side of wherever the marker was. Oh no. Jess. <laughs> Jess, what am I about to do, Jess? You about to show me something? Sure am. I was out here the other day. This guy showed it. The hole? Yeah, yeah the he hole. showed me the hole. So it definitely would have been over here somewhere. Yeah, that's why I'm walking over here. I'm trying to figure out where it is. But my point is, is it was over here. He was over there. Bye-bye. Yeah. Oh, it was this flagpole he was by. He was, he was right he, here. He was, he was over there, actually. He was... Okay. looked like he was right there. Oh, yeah. It looked like he was set up right in front of this. Right in front of the rec center, yeah. This, this guy showed me where it was, and you're right. It was somewhere... It's here because it would not have been over there, it would have been over there. And the reason why is this hurdle inside the hurdle. So, and, but I mean, moving over there doesn't happen anyways because it's closer to that door. And there would have been a yeah, see, here's the door there. right here. Right in the dirt because, yeah. so, so, where would, there would have been a pole marker, yeah, obviously not in the spot, but I'm just asking because now I'm learning. Yeah. So there should have been a pole marker away. I work for the public, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Again, so we're following the cartilage. This is making sense. But over here wouldn't make sense if we're going by the doors either. It's been busy, but I don't even care about that. It's from the actual polling place. So, oh, Unless they did some type of work over here since then, you can see the, the hole somewhere. I'll be right along the cartilage. This is new. So it would have been right here, Jess. Yeah, it would have been right in here right somewhere. Here. But and, there's and new dirt been so dumped. So 50 yards would have been right here, okay? So I'm going to walk 50 yards. Now I'm going to be right in the middle of the street, which is not a safe place to go. So are we saying, Jess, that if this is the pole marker, like we said before, and it goes to the curtilage, that anything this side of me would not fall in that footage and would violate those, those laws? And then the guy that was running against me is way up there. there. So the, so, yeah. so in from from what you're looking at now, yeah. it doesn't look good, does it? Not from my perspective, but I, like Town I said, it totally depends on where that pole marker is supposed to be. 
in, even if. And it goes along the front. I know because I lived here my entire life. It's always been in the front. So, 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 Jess, what I would like to do, as, um, as, as select board elect, <laughs> I would like to thank you for your service today. Uh, I would like to thank you for being objective and not making a shit ton of excuses and just by going by the facts because yeah. what people vote for in this town is fucking important. It is. And, and I think you know, we've had this, we've had, yeah. I don't think this is the first conversation we've ever had on camera. No, no I've it's not. <laughs> have I ever come in and audited that town hall? No. I've always been. Nope. So, <laughs> so we've had, the, and I've always told you, like, you have a pretty healthy idea that running for select board does not help me in any way. Right. It doesn't help me financially, certainly. <laughs> um, it doesn't help my business because I have to be available yep. for two meetings a month and my and my two days for constituency. Yep. So that limits my ability to travel. Right. So the only reason I was running for this is, and I'm not going to give any. There were there were a lot of people that had reached out to me and said things need to be the way that they were. And and I had an issue that happened to my kid, and I decided that I wanted to help and see if I could put things back, Absolutely. sit in my position for three years, allow some more people to see that it's possible and not be scared about running, because that was the big thing. Mm -hmm. People were scared about going up against the machine and totally. the fallback and that, yeah. you know the retaliation for going against the machine. Mm -hmm. And But then people will see that it's okay to do it. People don't like change. People don't like change, but... Change is hard. When you, when you cheat and you steal... Yeah. That's the whole, you're not helping yourself. That's pretty serious. You're proving the whole reason why I ran. Yep. And to find out that, and what he's gonna say is, oh, you know, whatever, I was, I, he'll admit it, because he, he has no other choice. So what? I broke the law and I was way closer than 50 yards and, you know, but I still won on the votes. I have another video showing him running up to 10 different people that came up to me to say hi, because it's a small town, I'm a big name, and people are often, as you know, coming up to me and be like, oh, hey, can I get a picture, whatever. Yep. Running up to every single one of them. One person, he said I was a murderer. That I went to, to, to jail for murder. Now, That's unless I have... the accusation. Unless I have the most lenient parole or probation officer, which I have none. But unless I had the most lenient parole or probation officer, I don't think a couple years after a murder, I'd be out I'd be out, even out of prison, let alone running for, for office. But I just wanted to bring that to your attention. I know, and I know Kathy, yeah. I don't think she took it less seriously. I think no. that she truly believes that this is some... YouTube attempt to make them look bad. And if that was the case, you know me. Yep. We wouldn't be doing this. No. no. She takes her job very seriously. She's one of the most well-respected people in this town hall. And that's why I wanted to show you this mm. from our perspective without her feeling like that it was some big agenda that something something went wrong. Right. Something went real wrong. Right. right and right, the right. people's will, whether it be by the actual votes mm -hmm. or it be by their trust in the law to be upheld and enforced, was subverted. And it needs to be righted, and it can't be righted I think with some other guy that was cheating on the election that happens to have a tape measure handy. And he didn't mean to. Yep. He just didn't know. Right. Because so. we don't have the tape measure, so we couldn't measure it if we wanted to. Well, it's we not measured with a tape it, measure anyways. It's made. It's, it's measured with an engineer's... Oh, a, thing, um, a special thing? So yeah, I don't know. Yes, you have to be like... <laughs> okay. And, and, and I respect the town because now that the town's been notified, they have 48 hours to respond with due process legally, and I'm not at the FBI or the Attorney General's office. I'm right. here because I'm less, I'm less interested in being like, I told you so, you know, fuck the government. I'm more concerned because you live here, you ran, and I want to show you that it's not, a, it's not about like suing the town, it's about making right. things right for the town's people, which is the reason that I came right. here today and I wanted to show you right. what was going on. Well, and I also think that if we need to make some changes to how we do things by potentially walking out here during an election periodically throughout the day just to make sure everyone's where they're supposed to be, then I think that should happen Well, too. what I saw other towns do after there was something similar is they have a camp... Watch your back. You can, uh, there was a... There's, a truck, yeah. there's campaign quarters, and what they do is they set off a little taped area with a line in the middle, and one, they're both next to each other. One person's on one side, one's on the other. So no one gets the advantage. If one yep. guy wants to talk trash about me, he's talking trash about me in front of me, and then I can say, well, let me retort to what that guy just said. Now let me talk trash, watch your stuff there. Let me now talk trash about him. The second thing that they do is they put cameras behind the cheat. 
They put cameras on poles behind those places really? that show the poll doors. Oh. So if anyone makes any accusations, they run live for the duration of the poll, and it's real quick to go forward, set off by motion detector, to see, did anyone do it? And the only reason this happened is because I went to a town hall, Johnson, Rhode Island, and I went there, and the guy that was running for mayor was inside, talking to people, and I said, you've just violated the law, sir. You're no longer in the election. And he goes, no, I didn't. I'm not here in my capacity as a mayor running. I'm a registered nurse. See my shirt on? Registered nurse. I'm here to offer medical support to people. I said, you're in a public building in which you're the mayor, you violated the law. Now, how do you think after, no, so I've done this before. Now, after <laughs> so I did this before, <laughs> do you think he's still mayor? Probably not. No, he was immediately Probably vacated not. from the election. They didn't have an, a new election. Right. The election was reversed uh, and no one else was running against him. So it actually went to his son because he wrote his own name in just in case. But still, he lost his position. Oh, so I've done this before, and, and I, I I know. So I'll, I'll walk you back. I'm sorry right. to take up so much of your time. No, that's okay. That's why we're I just, here. I wanted to let you know, but like I said before, I don't want Kathy to think this is coming from a place of I'm trying to make a viral video because how many viral videos or any videos have I put up about Townsend? None. Right. Right? Thank I live you. here. I care about it. I'm, I'm just trying to show you guys in a humane way that... And it's serious one that she could see where she's not feeling like she's intimidated. Right. Right. So she doesn't think that I'm doing it for the wrong reasons. Right. I get you, Josh. Have you been helping that gentleman? Yes. Okay. Please help me. I, gotta get, I have to be sworn in. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, that's me. <laughs> he won the seat for the North Middlesex Regional School Committee. Oh, yes. congratulations. Yes. My seat that I vacated. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm on the phone. Can you? Yeah. yeah. Can you, do you mind? Got it all. That's all the stuff. Yeah. Um, so why don't we pause here? I'll let him take his, his swearing I in. No, I didn't know what you Personal phone number? Jess, thank you for being so helpful and being uh, continuously committed to You're do welcome, what's right for, for the town. Absolutely. Uh, it is in your hands. I know the clerk's office is, is doing the best they can to, to figure this out and follow the parameters of the law, and they will do that tirelessly. So I look forward to hearing back uh, from you guys and tell Kathy I, uh, I missed her and to have a good day. And I will tell I her. I will hopefully hear back from her tomorrow okay. for you. All right. Thanks, Jess. All right. You have a good day. Have a good afternoon. It's beautiful out. It is. The election was stolen. Have a good afternoon. It's nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Have a good day, Jess. I just poured water all over my house. Hey, um, I hope Chaz knows about this. He's going soon. I hope he does. Well, he knew about it when he removed the poll marker. Thank you, Jess. You're welcome. Have a good afternoon. So, wouldn't believe it unless I I told you, and this is... Uh, it's a big deal. It seems like I was right, and it seems like he's definitely not going to be select board. I am. I'll, uh, thank you. You can call me Mr. Selectman. But it appears like Jim might be in his future also. And that's the reason I stopped you today. That might be what the cops say to him when they get him for election tampering. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> hey, okay. I just noticed this gorgeous quilt. Oh, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? This is Fabulous. Used to be a quilt, uh, factory Guys, I can't tell you how big this thing is. I'm going to say it's six by ten. I can't even get it all oh, in. It's not that big, Judy. Is that, not, is that eight? This is at least six. It's longer that way. Six that's by eight? Said. Yeah, well, that's what she said. Okay. 